don't want them to ever feel like in the sense that they're missing out because yeah. they'll go to a school. Let's say they go to a school. Like our kids were going to a small Christian school for a while. Mm. Um, moved them out. They're sort of going to a bigger school now. Still a Christian school, but still different not as... Um, I don't know how do I say it? not not as it, it's it's more open enrollments. So you've mm. got different people from all walks of life. You know what I mean? Um, they might not be full time churchgoers like us. So they'll come. They'll hear different things. And this is a whole bunch of the kids at our um, at our church yeah. that are from all different types of um, schools. They go to different schools, but they'll they'll hear about their friends that have gone to the to a party or. Um, you know, doing but things. They on did a something on the weekend. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That we probably go. Oh, it's probably not the place for you. And our kids might not want to go either. Mm. But having church on a Friday night, they don't feel like they're missing out. Their cups being like we're we're filling yeah. their cup. So you know? I was about to ask that then. Like, how do you, as a parent now with two daughters, look at that sort of scenario mm. and say, okay, I want to be able to expose my kids to enough so that they know what's out there and what to avoid. Um, but I also want to protect them from what's out there yeah. and I want them to avoid it. Balance, man. And we learn from, like, we all learn off each other. So, like, my group of friends and even, like, um, just the, the church family in general, you know, you learn off each other. You sort of, um, one thing that we know at our age is balance is really important because you can sort of wrap them in cotton wool. Yep. And then, I don't know, that can be a bit dangerous at times as well. That's my opinion. I, I, you so know, I agree with uh, you. Though. But at the same time, I'm not saying give them all the freedom. No way, absolutely not. We still, you know, we want them to walk. Um, we're all in the same boat. You know, we want them to walk in that, um, have that sort of uh, Christian attitude about them, um, living a clean life and whatnot. But having a, um, I don't know, having a desire to do what's right, but then getting fed from their friends and getting encouragement from their friends. Do you know what I mean? That yeah, it's 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 just a balance. It's um, yeah, it's it's hard to probably explain, but I, I would probably say the best way is just yeah, balance. Well, it's it's interesting because it's one of those things where you're right. You can't really put it into words, but each parent knows exactly what they're trying to do. Um, and I'm not a parent. I don't have kids, but I see the the struggle it can be to raise someone, especially in today's day and age. I mean, it's so much. From when I was in school to now, it's so much different to what yeah, it was. Man. I was only there a few years back. Yeah, it's... But tech's advanced. Um, the things that are out there are just so much yeah. more accessible. You, and that's that's the whole point of, about sort of giving them a balance, like um, having a balance in the sense that because there's some rubbish out there. Yeah, man. And you don't want them exposed to that yeah. stuff either. But at the same time, you can't say, oh, no, you can't watch TV. Yeah.